I can't, I can't blame you for doing what you did. Hell, I would have done and I have done some of those things too. You see someone at the top, you go for someone at the top and make no mistake about it. Swerve is the Conor McDavid of all elite wrestling. Edmonton Oilers, great. Conor McDavid. Now, I'm not going to wait any longer. So, Christian, I want you to get your scuffed up boots, your dingy jacket, and your itchy turtleneck, and the rest of the Adams family to bring your ass down here. And we're going to have this conversation right now. Uh oh. You know, we've talked about Matthew and Nicholas Jackson throwing their weight around, Don. I I think your presence at this desk may have something to do with it, but the main event at Double or Nothing coming up on May 26th from Las Vegas. Matthew and Nicholas Jackson playing a direct hand in putting Christian Cage forward to challenge Swerve Strickland. As they should, and what a great move. Christian is a phenomenal wrestler. You can't well, deny that. Well, look at this. Our world heavyweight champion standing right there in the middle of the ring in the self-proclaimed city of champions. I hate to break it to you, Edmonton. I hate to break it to you, Edmonton. There won't be any championship this year, because in a couple hours, I can't wait to watch the Canucks stomp the Edmonton Oilers. Now, speaking of stomping out, that's exactly what happened to you in that ring last week, isn't it, Swerve? People are saying it was sick and disgusting when we ripped out one of your dreads. But Swerve, that was by design. Because I've decided every week, I am gonna take some... Shut your mouths while I'm conducting my business! I've decided every single week, I am gonna take something from you until I ultimately take what it is that I want. Now you've been riding this huge wave of momentum and you've ridden it all the way to the World Heavyweight Championship. But the funny thing about waves is they always crash. And at double or nothing, it's gonna crash at my feet. Swerve, you are not in my league. I am the patriarch of AEW. I am the face of TBS. I am the face of TNT. And I deserve to stand at the top of the mountain as the world heavyweight champion. But after double or nothing, when the dust is settled, Swerve, I said shut your mouths while I'm conducting my business. You can take comfort in knowing when, the when your walls are crashing in, when Swerve's house has been foreclosed on, that you can see gold whenever you want, even though you won't be the champion anymore. All you'll have to do is look yourself in the mirror and you can see those stupid gold teeth. Unless, unless I take those from you right now. Well. Swerve Strickland is out. I told your ass I wasn't coming alone. I what said, is this now? Was outnumbered. Look out. As the Mogul Embassy, Bishop Khan, Toa Leona, and Brian Cage having the back of Swerve Strickland here, even up the numbers against the Patriarchy, Tony. This is tremendous. What's wrong, Christian? They didn't expect this at all. I want you to get in this ring so bad so I can beat your ass down like Kendrick Lamar did to Drake this past weekend. Bad week for Toronto. And that won't be the last time that someone from the West Coast took out a fake father from Toronto. Whoa! Well, he got him there. Wow. Come on! Get in here. Be the face of TBS, of TNT. The patriarch of AEW. You got here from playing the politic game. 
I had to work my ass off and get beat down and get back up to be AEW World Champion. Don't you forget that. So I dare you. Come get it. Come take my gold team. Come take my gold championship. Oh, that's right. You won't. That'll put Christian in a very uncomfortable position, wouldn't it? And we all know when Christian's faced in an uncomfortable position, he's going to say, I quit. Oh, boy. That was a stiff one. Wow. He shut Christian Cage up. That's not easy to do. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, what? what just happened? Brian Cage from the back. And now look at this. Come And Toliona. This has got Christian written all over it, guys. I've known that kid for 25 years. This was Swerve's backup. And not anymore. Look at this. Oh, look at Leona. I mean, just a monster. What in the hell is this all about? This had to be some money or... I mean, who knows? Maybe... Maybe the Mogul Embassy feeling left behind by the AEW World Champion. Who knows what the... Oh, uh, Christian might be leaving with those gold teeth after all. Maybe tonight. That's, the referee corps coming to try to attempt to intervene, but look at... Oh, man, the referee is taking a powder on that one. I don't blame him. No kidding. Well, if Christian is truly behind this, this is a master stroke. Brian Cage, he was barking in the face of Swerve Strickland, and now... Oh, oh my God! Oh, my God! What the hell? Cage just sent Christian over the oh, top get, rope. Get them away from us! Oh, get them away! Hold on! Freaking business. What a freaking, performance. Way to go. Great idea, gentlemen. It's, it's been a pleasure conducting business with you. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to more? Yeah, I mean, too. It's the start of a very fruitful working relationship. Right on. Right, right, right on. on. Thank you again, job, everybody. Guys. Great that stuff. Great. great show. Hey, everybody, come on. Give hey, up the energy, all right? Swerve's going to feel that one in the morning, huh? Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, that wouldn't be considered a bitch move, what happened to him, no? Not at all. Right. Let's keep this energy <laughs> up, yeah, guys. Come on. Yeah. Let's Next go. segment. Let's Great go. Show. Great show. Way to go, you. Yeah. Yep. Yeah.
Tuck your shirt in. Yeah. Good call. Yeah.